another vlog, Bali part two. I haven't picked up the camera since Monday and today's Saturday, so I kind of took the week off vlogging, which I normally do. I normally am just kind of like more of a weekend vlogger because it would be a lot for me to film every day and also try to keep up with my other platforms. So I also post on TikTok and stuff if you want more content from me, but I know a lot of other YouTubers vlog like almost every day, if not every day. And I'm wondering if you guys want that for me or if you like this how I'm vlogging now. But I also have a podcast too if you guys want to listen to that. Luke and I have just been getting into a routine since we've been here. That's like our goal every time we go to a new place. And we found this gym that we're obsessed with. So we've been like pretty much spending most of our time there because this gym has everything. It's got Pilates classes, fitness classes. It's got like a sauna and a cold plunge and like a restaurant and a pool and it's like it's just gorgeous it's a great place to work they like totally encourage you to like bring your laptop there and like work so that's what we've been doing we've either been like working out there or working there eating there just chilling there and it's really great the only thing is i'm not allowed to bring professional cam i can definitely film on my phone to show you guys but won't be able to vlog a ton there which makes sense i mean no one loves to see a professional camera when they're just trying to like get their workout in today's the weekend so i'm not sure if we'll go to the gym really don't know what our plans are today in my last vlog i kind of showed you guys around the villa a bit but this is our kitchen and i'm not cooking a ton here just because it's pretty minimal and it's hard to find like quality food but this is literally the stove there's a gas literal gas can connect to it and then i have to like turn the gas on and then light it which like just feels so old-fashioned to me oh i think it's gonna take two hands i'm gonna make luke's breakfast we're gonna do steak and eggs luke's favorite cut of steak is filet mignon and I think I make it pretty good. He always tells me that I make it better than any restaurant, which he could just be saying that to make me feel better, but usually restaurants don't serve grass-fed beef, so I know that at least the ones I'm cooking are healthier. I'm also using grass-fed butter. I'll use ghee, grass-fed ghee. So I just melt a bit of butter in the pan and then I smash the garlic clove and pop it in there. And I usually like to let my steak rest for an hour, but we won't really have time for that this morning. So, I'm just going to cook it up. These ones are also much thinner than the ones I usually get. They've been turning out fine without me resting them. And then an important step is constantly moving around Ow! the butter or the ghee. So that it doesn't burn. I think I already burned. And this also just helps it redistribute onto the steak. I always like to do salt and pepper, Himalayan salt and black pepper. I'll cook it for three minutes on each side and then I'll let it rest for five minutes under tempura. There we have Luke's breakfast. The steak usually turns out pretty good, but I'm not the best egg maker, so they always turn out a bit different. Eggs are eggs, right? I need to record a podcast episode. I think this episode's gonna be about like travel tips i already have a youtube video on a lot of like packing tips so i'll kind of be sharing some of those but I'll, then also just like some travel tips in general i don't know how this episode's gonna turn out because i didn't really plan it that much and sometimes it's harder to do podcasts by myself without cast it's less of a conversation more of just like a monologue and i'm not really good not like a huge talker we're gonna try our best hello girly girls welcome back to the sitting pretty podcast this is your host kendall k hello guys it's a couple hours later i'm having a really bad day today so i haven't really fixed the camera much but i went to the gym and did a workout which helped me feel a bit better um i did a, like um 55 minute Pilates with Sane on YouTube and then I went and go picked up my laptop because it the screen cracked 
a few days ago so I had to go get it repaired and I just picked it up so it's all fixed and ready and then I stopped at pharmacy to get some natural bug, sp bug, sp bug spray oil because I've been getting some bug bites at night and we only have like this crazy like a super toxic looking bug spray so I wanted to get something more natural I got I literally just got like a little bottle of citronella oil or lemongrass oil which is supposed to help repel bugs so we'll see how it works it was literally like two dollars so if not it's no big deal it's worth a shot and then I went to this little thrift store that I went to a few days ago and I picked out a few things and I put them on hold because they only take cash so I had to go get some cash out and pick them up and I just got home I have a dinner reservation tonight at six for sushi I want to leave at like five and walk there so that's in 40 minutes I really could use a snack I think I'm either gonna have some nuts snacking on some cucumber mini cucumbers Hello? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, wait. They they want to go back. Yes. You think turtles have feelings? I wonder if they're scared right now. Yeah. Calm down, calm down. Hi vlog. This is Kendall with an update. I just got ready, and Luke and I are walking to sushi. It's a 20 minute walk, but. We're leaving an hour before our reservation because I want to like stop at all the shops on the way. There's like this health food store I want to go to and I feel like we might find some other shops to stop at. Look how so cute just you are. So stroll around Does my it... outfit. Aw, oh, the little bow. I got this dress at the thrift store today. And then I'm wearing my walking shoes, sandals. Oh, well, with TD. Bag. A smile. We stopped at our, our health favorite health food store and got, Watch out, got a kombucha. A oh jeez. And got a kombucha. It's really good. It's like a it's called a root beer flavored. Bali rainwater. There's a person in there. That looks so good. What does the vlog think? Should Luke get this outfit? I really like it. it comes off as like gray yeah. from far away. We just got to the dinner spot and it looks gorgeous. It's in this like brick. Is that brick? Brick building. Luke and I just sat down for dinner at this sushi spot. What do you think, babe? It's super cool. It's such a vibe. We are a little man's out here on the, on the patio and it's like so romantic. There's candles going. They just served us these like little coconut water green drinks. You eat this whole thing? Yeah, it's like a one biter. It tasted like a Texas burger, but it's tuna. Yeah, Don't drop that. it. How good is that? Wow. I want to be able to order that. You know me when something's good, I, I, I want say. more of it. I can never settle for just enough. When we were walking in, there's a guy right there who has a really, he had a really nice camera and he was like... I saw it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I it seemed like he... It, no, it seemed like he worked for this place. Mm, it was on my social media. We just got these little miso soups. They're so cute. Like I feel like I'm like a food vlogger right now. We just got this gorgeous sushi. We can hire at this food stand. We want to get some of these. Yeah. These are dragon fruits. Whoa, these are dead. Whoa, they feel so cool. I wonder if they're they're right. Yeah, they definitely are. Well, there's so many crazy fruits here. Should we get two? Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah. But inside the uh, yeah. You eat this right here. Yeah. This yeah. looks like a garlic. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a. Yeah. We have a matcha ice cream. Oh my gosh. Babe, 
I turned 27 this year. What are your thoughts on that? Well, not this year, but next year. My next age is 27. I just like remember hearing the, the number 27, like 28 when I was younger and being like, wow, that's like- That's old. That's a fucking adult. Yeah. Do I seem like an adult to you? Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> Really? It does you seem like a, like a little baby. 27. Like, I gotta get my shit together, babe. You don't think you have your shit together? No. I try. What'd you get? Wow, they're they're ahead of the AI movement. Artificial oh, intelligence. Right. Holy shit. Oreo Sunday. Babe, that's the name of it. It's Aicha. AI. This is, this is what happens, babe. This is just like the dot-com boom. Yeah. Where what happened is back in the 1990s, you just put dot-com in front of your name and people know that you're a website, so you got more funding. So that's what these guys did. They're, They're like, ahead of it. the AI boom, so they just put AI in front of this random fucking name. This must be like a massive chain. Back at the health and food store. We're gonna get some organic grass-fed ground beef from Australia. Maybe some grass-fed Wagyu. They have Wagyu? They do. That's perfect. I want to do a little haul of everything we just bought. But first things first, I need to put this box around because our, our kitchen's like outdoors, so. This smells really good. I exposed the bugs out here. Where it smells good? The bug spray. So we got some fruit and veggie wash because I feel like the fruit and veggies here are like very dirty. Oh babe, do you get this mango kombucha? That looks good. And Luke also got these digestive wellness and kombuchas. Luke on like a total kombucha kick. And then we got some grass fed ground beef from Australia. And then I got these super shrooms, puffed mushrooms. It's just like a mushroom snack. And Luke got these choco puffs. I think it's just like a cereal snack. The second time buying these salt, so it must be good. We got another ground beef. Hey, these ground beefs are zero percent fat. We got some more kombuchas. And then I also had these for the first time today. They're like these little crunchy mung bean like snacks. They're like high protein little gas packs. Right now I'm gonna make Luke and I these sleep drinks. It's like a little powder supplement with white turmeric, lemongrass, black pepper, ashwagandha, ginger, coconut sugar, and nutmeg. Sounds pretty good. I almost forgot to mention that we got these jack dragon fruits at that like fruit market. They look so crazy. And I bought a little apple. Yeah, let's go. Good morning. Good morning, huh? We're going to a farmer's market. Yes. Luke and I are heading to a farmer's market and it's at this like beach club. So we're, we gotta find ourselves a little scooter to take us there because we are like an hour walk away and Luke's not down for the walk. So, scooter it is. One and two, uh, start the in. Start from here. Until green. Until green, yeah. Uh, Oh, I've done that. I've ridden on a scooter before. It's 11 a.m. and Luke's getting gelato for breakfast. The vlog just thinks I'm so unhealthy. I actually eat like very healthy. It's because I only vlog on the weekend, so it just shows you like getting ice cream and like us going out to dinner. Bomb. They really hit it home with the mango. The mango's good? It's wow. good for your muscle. Mm. Is this like regular beef jerky? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We kind of sat down for lunch at this place called Santorini. It's like a Greek place. It feels like we're in Greece right now. Transported. We just got some Greek salads. And I think, baby, you got like a euro, right? Two. And we just hit the farmer's market. It wasn't so much a farmer's market, was it? Yeah, it wasn't like a farmer's market. Definitely not, because it was mainly clothes. Mainly clothes. We 
we did get those grass and beef chips. It's a good snack for you. Yeah. I just got an iced tea. It sounds so good right now. Oh, that's refreshing. This is definitely caffeinated. Our salad just came. These look very authentic. Do you want to go back to Greece ever? Probably, at some point. Maybe to a different island to explore some other places? Let's do a little haul of everything we got today. So I have to take everything out to put it away anyways. I brought this war bristle brush to brush my hair after I took my helmet off. And I got this camera strap because the one I have right now is black and I felt like this one was just much more bally. It's definitely not meant for cameras, but anything I see that has like little clips on it like this that's long, I will use as a camera strap. And then Luke got this lion's mane. How do you sell this to you, babe? He said it get, makes you twice as productive. So much, yeah. yeah. We'll have to try this tomorrow. He told us to, I think he grows his own mushrooms here in Bali, which is sweet. So he told us to have an hour before breakfast in water, but I'm gonna put it in Luke's coffee because he has his coffee before breakfast. We'll see how that goes. And then we got some Christmas presents for people because we're gonna be going back to Encinitas, which is my hometown for Christmas. And my family's just huge Christmas people. So everyone exchanges gifts and Luke and I kind of go in together. He pays for it and I pick it out. <laughs> <laughs> we give gifts as a couple. It works out great. So we started to get some stuff. We figured it would be really cool to get all our Christmas gifts this year from Bali because Bali has some really good, unique gifts. Luke got this handmade leather passport holder. This guy likes it. says that he makes them himself and they take seven hours for him to make. So Luke got this like black leather one. All of Luke's travel stuff is like a matte black leather so this will like really match. And I got these silk scrunchies. They were just too cute. Like look at how cute this little pack of pink is. I can't resist. Luke got a cotton button down which just looks so comfy. We we took these like ginger shots and they tasted so good so we got a whole bottle so we could just have ginger shots at home. And then Luke got a bunch of this beef jerky. It's made from local grass-fed cows, so Luke was like all over it, and it tastes really good. It's like high protein too. You don't like that one? Oh jeez. You look like Beavis and Butthead. Do you know what that is? I just cooked up the most random dinner for Luke and I. I made four eggs for myself, and then filet mignon and eggs for Luke, and then left his leftover gyro for lunch, and some papaya. I mean, it's kind of a balanced meal, but literally so random. Luke just filmed some reels. He, we had a videographer come over. So now we're gonna have some dinner together. Yo, bro. Well, dude, I'm having dinner right now, but appreciate you getting up so early, man. What's your thoughts on this spread? Thoughts on it? Yeah. I don't know. Do you feel like it's working? Look at this, thank you. Bali on a scooter. Just almost got a ticket for not wearing a helmet. We got pulled over by the cops and I wasn't wearing a helmet. And I told them it was at home. And then they're like, okay, where's your license? And then I left my license at home too. So it just was really bad looks. Brandon. Hi. Are you cookies? Um, I don't Are these know. matcha cookies? Yeah, matcha with white chocolate. And then what's it? Peanut butter, dark chocolate, red salsa cream cheese, marshmallow corn flake, sprinkle. Marshmallow. Which one are you thinking? Salted caramel crunch, tiramisu. Luke Lens approved. And the ice cream king approves. We found our way into a bookstore. Do you recognize any titles, babe? Yeah, the water. This girl's from Selling Sunset. I thought she looked familiar. Yeah. Christine Quinn, she's the one who volunteered to give away. She did? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so the next day, Luke and I are about to head to this little beach beach club to chill out for the day because Luke's, Luke's not working today. Because it's kind of like Sunday in the in Canada, 
So there's not much work to be done. So we're gonna go post up at the beach. Luke just ordered this poke bowl and a mango marg. And we got seated. This beautiful, uh, this beautiful place. I'm really vibing with it. That's gorgeous. 